How is everyone doing? This is Baz Tista and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. So, since the last episode, I went and farmed at the Barath so that I could get some new equipment. So right now I'm using the Carapace Axe 1. I'm using that because it has a paralysis file and I just wanted to test that out against the exhaust file. See if it's better or worse. It hits harder. The axe hits harder, but the exhaust file is pretty good because it just exhausts monsters and I'm not really sure what the paralysis file is going to do, if it's going to just stop them in place or if it's going to just slow them down a bit. The other thing I got was the Barath Vambraces. It's got the Marathon Runner skill. So that reduces continuous stamina depletion by 15% and it goes all the way up to 50% if you get to level 3. It'll be pretty handy because I do dash around a lot. And the other thing I got was the Baroth Greaves. That's got a stun resistance which is uh, very useful I think, especially when you're fighting something like the Baroth. I got stunned a lot when I was farming them so this this did make a difference in the end and eventually if you get it up to level 3 it prevents stun altogether so now for this episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an optional quest this optional quest is about capturing a Kulu Yaku the reason I'm doing this instead of a main quest is because the last time I fought a Kulu Yaku it was off camera so I thought we may as well go and do this one so you can see what the Kulu Yaku is all about. I'm not sure exactly where he's gonna spawn so we may as well start here. So I haven't done a capture quest before, so this will be something new. Capture quests require to, to weaken the monster, trap the monster, use a tranquilizer to capture the monster alive. Be sure to bring the traps and tranquilizers you need with you. You'll, you'll find them in your item box or the supply box. Traps, shock traps, pitfall traps, etc. Tranquilizer, trank bombs, trank ammo, etc. Traps and tranquilizers can be crafted or bought from the provisions stockpile. You must significantly weaken a monster before you can capture it with tranquilizers. Once a monster's health is low enough for tranquilizers to be effective, it will begin to limp. That's your cue to stop attacking and ready your traps. Be careful not to deal too much more damage to the monster as accidentally slaying the target will result in your failing a capture quest. Limping monsters will attempt to flee to their nest in order to recover their health. Select a trap such as a shock trap from the item list and place it in the monster's path with square. Once you've snared the weakened monster, you're nearly done capturing it. It can also be effective to place traps around the nest where the monster is sleeping. Wake the monster up and lure it into the traps you've set. Once you've successfully snared a monster in your trap, select a trank bomb from the item list and press square to throw it at your target so it hits the monster's face. Once the monster is asleep, you've captured it. You can also use trank ammo when you're using a ranged weapon. Capturing a monster will also fulfill the completion requirements for hunt quests. While you'll be unable to carve items from your target, you'll gain different rewards from the request results screen, screen if you'd slayed it. The goal of this quest is to capture the monster. You'll fail the quest if you slay it, so be careful. That was a lot of reading. I never got any food, so that might be a good place to start. This is one of the new ones I got.
Uh, there doesn't seem to be any indication of where exactly it is. I can't remember where I last seen it. I think it was more in the forestry area. There it is. Great timing. Great timing, buddy. Hey. Come say hello. Damn it. While I'm here. Why are these guys following me? That's a lot of footprints. I'm glad I didn't decide to stop and uh, look at every one of them. My God, he can run far. I forgot how far he can run. First time I fought him, I spent most of my time chasing him around. Hard to catch up to. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break your egg, I just meant to break your ass. Okay, there's the paralysis in effect. Sit still for a second. I love the way he's able to use a rock as a tool. Ooh. A game of dodging, guys. A game of dodging. Who's gonna win? Come back, you little... Did I break anything off? So far, I um, I actually like the paralysis thing more than the exhaust file. Well, that's only an initial impression. I'm going to have to do a lot more fighting, especially against bigger monsters, because this one... It was a pain in the ass the first time I fought him, but at the moment, 
I'm fairly familiar with him now, so it shouldn't be too difficult to to defeat. And there's the curse of the commentator. Where are my traps, actually? Oh, I never took them out of the damn box. I have to go all the way back to the camp. All that damn work. <laughs> Thanks, Scoutflies. I know I really wish you'd stop doing that. The supplies you need to capture a monster are on site. Make absolutely sure you have Trank Bombs. That one's a must. So, Trank Bomb, the Shock Trap. Let's do this! Uh, again. Doesn't take long for the green sharpness to go down. Scout flies weren't keeping up with me for some reason. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Please arm! Ooh, I'll give it to you. That was a good one. Yeah, he was a uh, hundred times easier this time around. Weapon did a good job. I like that par paralysis weapon, the par paralysis file. It's tongue tying me though. immediately new research results available and a bounty completed get a couple of new ones five insect items complete two quests in the ancient forest Got her 12 times of bump piles. Okay. Bump piles is 100 research points, so we'll do that one anyway. And we'll basically take my pick of the 60 points ones. Well, considering my uh, most of my time has been spent at the Wild Spire Waste, we'll do the two quests. Limited. General limited bounty. Complete all limited bounties. Hunt four specified monsters. Hunt three specified monsters. Uh, 
Okay, so hunt Kuluyaku. I can't do Diablos, but I can do Kuluyaku at some point. Okay, let's see what research I got. And there's a guy down there I have to talk to. And that'll probably end this episode. So now I can see his low rank rewards. It's a bit late though because I already got everything I needed off him before. Still it's handy to have that kind of information. You used to have to look that up online to find out stuff like that in the old Monster Hunter. So sir, what do you want? Ah, uh, Hunter, I must thank you for capturing the Kulu Yuku. This is a little thank you from the Go-Getters. I insist you have it. 500 points, thank you very much, Smart Biologist. Splendid. The Fifth Fleet, just who I was looking for. At present, we Go-Getters are studying the Barrett's behavior. That's right, we're ready to get down in the mud with it. It's if that's what it takes to learn about its habitat. The quest is called Landing the Landslide Wyvern. Any assistance you could give would be most appreciated. Capture a Barath. How the hell do you pronounce that word? Wyvern? Wyvern? I'm gonna have to figure that out. It bugs me. Anyway guys, that is the capture quest for today. The next episode, when we come back, will probably be the next main quest. Just a quick look to see what that will be. The new quest I got off him, off the researcher, was this one. I won't touch that yet. First I will do this. This will be the quest in the next episode. So, looking forward to that, and we will see you all again then. Thanks for watching, guys.